Don't forget back to boxing sometime. <laughs> Welcome back to Gas Bagging with Rob. Today we're with Mr. Perfect, Terry Corney. Correct. Terry, how are you going, buddy? I'm doing really well. Thanks, man. Thanks for joining us today, putting your time as well. Really appreciate it. Okay. No worries. Awesome. I'm going to tell you a few questions. Yeah, sure. What did you know in your awareness of homelessness in Australia? I was amazed when I saw the level of homelessness in Sydney Central, thinking that the place was, you know, affluent all over. I've definitely seen an increase now when I go into the city and go to work, passing um, homeless people and I'm very aware of uh, what's going on. It hits me quite hard when I'm walking past that. So um, it's something I'm quite aware of, almost daily, so yeah. Oh, awesome. What do you think the government and society can do then okay. to make an impact into ending homelessness? It amazes me that there is not a low-cost solution that can be given to the homeless to house them, whether it be temporary or not. I am sure there's resources to do far more than we're currently doing. On a societal level, I know when I walk past a homeless in the city or whatever it may be, it plays on my mind and I think about, well, how did they get there? Like, do they have a mum and dad? Like, how does this happen? And how would someone ever allow that to happen to a human? And I wish that more people took the time to sit and just listen to them and, you know, not all homeless people are clearly looking for you to come around with a thousand dollar check. It's not what it's about. But they probably feel incredibly invisible at times when they're seeing thousands of people in Sydney CBD walking past them every day. If you can start with a little bit of that, a little bit of humanity, and listening and connecting with them, I guarantee you're going to make their day a little bit better. Um, I'd love to see more of that. I'm beautiful. A couple of volunteering work or services are you involved in? Yeah. So myself, um, well to go back a bit, when I started Mr Perfect I decided to volunteer and um, set up a uh, community barbecues basically. So that was my volunteer role for a very long time um, and then now I engage anything up to 40 to 50 volunteers that help us with running barbecues across the country for men. So, yeah. Oh awesome. Why did you feel the need to create Mr Perfect? Yeah, so a few reasons. Uh, accumulation of things. So for about 30 years I guess I repressed a lot of mental health issues I had, a lot of serious struggles and uh, when I hit 30 I was about to have a family, get married, do all these things and then one day I just said enough's enough, I need to go get some help. Um, I went on that journey but realised although the clinical aspect is, is vital and it was vital for me, there was a lot of things that weren't mentioned, I, I was not asked about social connection, I was not asked about anything to do with like, my relationships and uh, a few of my mates were going through something similar. Uh, I read a report about men's connectedness and how after 30 it just drops off like this. Um, so when big things hit us, we don't know where to turn or how to deal with it and we think we're on our own. Um, and I was a writer as well, so I was writing a bit of my story and I thought, well, let's just hold a barbecue and see what happens. So we did one in uh, Surrey Hills and next thing you know, community connection support. Those are the things we were providing and five years later it's gone crazy. Like It's amazing and we're, we're reaching a lot of people. So. Oh, beautiful. There's someone out there that is really looking for a chance to connect with somebody. Absolutely. Look, we've got um, 32 barbecues running, so we have a Facebook page, Mr. Perfect AU, which you can, you can check out. But the website's mrperfect.org.au. You head on there, there's a map of 32 locations currently around the country where you can get to a barbecue once a month for two hours, really informal, casual, meet some great people, discuss mental health if you want, tell people your story if you want. But some people just want a place to go and to be and to feel human and connected and get out in the sun and maybe escape some things for a couple of hours. That's all we hope to provide as a, as a low thing. As a high bar, we are the spark, I guess, for bigger connection beyond that and getting people to come to us. The idea is at a soft entry level, then let it get to a point where they're hitting 30 years of crisis and then hit the hard end. This is what we need to change as a whole generation and a whole culture. So yeah. beautiful, man. Thank you okay. so much for what you do for you. Uh, people out there and those who need connection and engagement. Thank you so much.